Understanding the Pass-Fail Option in Education Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a common term used in educational settings, the Pass-Fail Option. This concept can be a bit confusing for English language learners, so we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what this term means and how it's used. Let's dive in. The pass-fail option refers to a grading system used in educational institutions. Unlike traditional grading systems that use letters, A, B, C, etc., or percentages, the pass-fail system simplifies this to two outcomes, passing or failing. Passing means that the student has met the minimum requirements of the course. Failing indicates that the student has not met these requirements. This system is often chosen by students for courses that are outside their major areas of expertise, reducing the pressure of achieving high letter grades. Opting for a pass-fail grade can be beneficial for several reasons. 1. Reduces stress. Students might feel less pressure, as they only need to meet the basic requirements. 2. Focus on learning. It allows students to focus on learning the material without worrying about achieving a high letter grade. 3. Exploring new subjects. It's ideal for exploring courses outside a student's major without the risk of lowering their overall GPA. However, it's important to note that not all courses may offer this option, and some universities have specific rules about pass-fail grades. Before opting for the pass-fail option, students should consider University policy Understand your institution's rules regarding pass-fail courses Future implications Consider how this choice might affect graduate school applications or job prospects Major requirements Ensure that the course isn't crucial for your major, as some major courses might require a letter grade The pass-fail option can be a great choice for students looking to explore new subjects or reduce stress. However, it's crucial to make an informed decision based on your academic goals and university policies. I hope this video has clarified the pass-fail option for you. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more English learning content. See you in the next video.